Welcome to Mail Merge of Microsoft Word 2010 and Microsoft Excel 2010. This is presented by Nell Brown, PC Clean. And the web address is www.pcclean.ie. So, first of all, we need to open up our Excel sheet. I've made one here. And on the first column, the first name. Column for last name, a column for company name, a column for address line, address line two, and address line three. And the cells below it, I filled in a few random names John Smith, Smith's Toys, Main Street, Power Fay, County Running Club. These are fictitious, so don't be trying to work out who it is. So click save. As I have a folder called Mail Merge Folder Example, call it that. I have it saved, so I'm just overwriting it. So back to you now. I've made a Word document already. I've just put in a few typing today's date, year, and notice how I've put a semicolon up here because in between that and the year, it's going to be the first name of the person I want to send to. I know on how you would you like to see my video sponsoring loads of money. Here is the Syrian MRI. This is an example. So we'll start mail merge. Go to mailings. Start mail merge. Step by step mail merge. On the right hand side now we have a wizard. And we'll start off with letters. Like next. Start with document. Use the current document, which is the one that's already open. Yes. Uh, use an existing list for recipients. Okay. Uh, if you remember, we made an Excel sheet with two rows of people's names, for example. So we'll use that to browse. Go to my documents folder. Mail merge folder, the one I created earlier. Mail merge Excel sheet. And now it's open. It says, do you want to come from sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3? Well, I've only used sheet 1, so we'll use sheet 1. And which names do you want to use? I want to name, use them all, but if I don't want to use this one, I'll take it. And I'll take it. So I'll click OK. Click Next. Write your letter. OK, so I have my letter already written. So what I want to do up here is left hand side. Let's put on my uh, contact address. So go insert mail merge. First name, last name. So now it will be Pat Smith. Then press enter. Now the next line, call my name. Enter again. Address line one. Address line two. Finally, address line three. And then in between dear and space, we'll insert first name. So now your first name is going to pop in. Now you may look at this and say that sheet is very empty. We can put in, if you put in a background, uh, go to insert. Page layout for watermark, custom watermark, picture wall watermark, select, select picture. I have my documents again, new merge folder, and I have a JPEG image. There's a letterhead here, double click, 100%, no washout, click apply, click close. Now on this this is my background for a letter, so anybody else may have to do this differently. And if you have a separate logo that you do want to put on, separate logo, what you do is go to insert picture, go to my documents, and the mail merge. I have a image here, and as you can see, it's from up here, so I want to. Drop that text, 
hand, move it up. Okay, get rid of my watermark just for this example. Remove watermark. So now I have my logo up on the top right hand side of this page. Next step is go to review, preview your letters. Okay. Up here we have recipients. So go recipient one. That looks good to me. Recipient two. Yes, they're my names. See how our names change here and up here. Okay. I am happy with that. Let me print. Next, complete the merge. Now, what we can do is either click print, which will just start printing automatically from here, or we can go to edit and visual letters. So what happens is now we open a new document, merge records, all you know, merging, yes, go OK. So now instead of one page, we'll have how many pages? If we have 40 recipients, we'll have 40 pages. So we'll scroll down here. See, it's page two, page one. So it's all the same. And if you want to go ahead and print, file, print. Just go OK there. And as you can see, on your right again, you can see your letter. So if there's any questions on this, we'll merge. Again, uh, this is Excel 2010 and Word 2010 I'm using. You can also use this on Word 2007 and Excel 2007. Uh, for previous editions, the layouts are, are slightly different, but the format is the same. Thank you for watching this video created by PC Clean. If you want to email me any problems, sales at pcclean.ie. That is S A L E S at P C C L E A N dot I E. Thank you for your time.